Okay, so back again with the second video. Hope you enjoyed the last video if you um watched all the way through, but this is gonna be a 15 minute time frame case study of Euro USD. So there's a few more trades in this one, but um basically we're starting out oh that isn't good we're starting out here so we have a change of character here and lots of liquidity built up trend line liquidity built up so we then have a change of character to the upside we form a new low and price breaks out to the upside this then forms our order block here I included this candle as well because it is technically the last bearish candle but I've linked it to both now this order block is mitigated here but it's large wick fundamentals as well did affect this and we did also claim the liquidity here with this wick so I still had it marked out as an area of interest because this liquidity still exists within the order block so price anyway carries on up we make a New York high and have a bit of consolidation and price then retraces back into our order block and as normal our entry criteria is to enter at the open of the order block stop loss just below so this was a 1 to 5.18 again after the bearish move we had a change of character and had a lovely ride up to the take profit the target was the London high and as mentioned in the previous video price more volatile at the New York London crossover which is the time this trade was entered at the POI so this is our POI in London New York crossover open of New York which is bullish so that trade took place there we then had some more price action another change of character here which led to the downside so price claims some of the sell side liquidity formed from the bullish move to the upside here this is seen as a retracement in my eyes and this here is seen as a higher low formed within the trend and price then moves on with bullish momentum breaking structure to the upside and holding this higher low so we can see that here price forms more trend line liquidity and continues on in a bullish trend price forming new higher lows and higher highs breaking structure to the upside we then reach a point here where throughout this bullish move lots of sell side liquidity has been formed which is just waiting to be claimed and also lots of buy side liquidity and orders have been taken out of the market by this bullish rally so a sell off is quite likely so we've obviously got as we can see marked here and marked here New York London crossover high from the previous week and New York London or London high slash sort of New York high from the previous week so this is seen as buy side liquidity which was claimed so the previous week's London highs have been swept and all of the buy side liquidity has been claimed. This leaves us open to shorts as lots of orders have been removed from the market. So price at this bullish rally formed an Asian high, failed to break this Asian high and form another higher high, which led us to a change of character and a bearish move to the downside which claimed a lot of this bullish sell side liquidity so we dropped into a sort of bit of a consolidation in this period of price action and this is where I started to look so we had 
Price claimed some of the sell side liquidity from the bullish trend and after a few tries breaks the structure to the downside again which is this break of structure here and we broke this level and this level right here and this break of structure to the downside creates a valid supply zone for us to start looking for shorts from which is here because this is our last bearish candle before the break of structure so we have this supply zone we mark it up price then continues down and then we get a nice wick up there after the break of structure and the trade taken from the supply which I just mentioned was this one here I placed the stop loss just above the most recent wick outside of the order block at the most recent wick high which is this blue line so that was my wick that I was taking and I put the stop loss just above it which worked out at 15 pip stop loss from the open of our supply which is our entry criteria so this was a 1 to 3.6 the take profit level was this sell side liquidity here because obviously no price has nearly tapped this sell side liquidity already so in theory we've just created more sell side liquidity here which to me I, I strongly see us taking that so I wanted a bit of an extension and I thought I would target this liquidity because it's more likely to be taken because of this liquidity being formed here and also because this liquidity obviously gives us a better risk to reward ratio and is a better trade setup in my eyes so that was why I had that marked and that trade obviously wick entry into the supply and we fall down a bit of consolidation here price stalls just above the TP um, sell side liquidity and consolidates which is this price action here and then we form liquidity to the upside buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity but price breaks out to the downside and this break of structure again forms another valid supply zone for us to look at shorts from so we continue to make lower lows and lower highs and break structure to the downside we then have a nice wick here which is our buy side liquidity we bottom out we break structure to the upside here which in theory if you were looking for it which I've just spotted here you could have had this marked out because you would have had your change of character and a break of structure so this could have been another valid setup where you would have entered at the open of the order block had your stop loss just below and you would have been targeting either this buy side liquidity here or you would have just targeted the Asian high and you would have had that is just set up there which is the same criteria as I usually mark up but anyway this buy side liquidity was claimed and we made the Asian high came back mitigated the order block as we just mentioned and price came up into the supply I just mentioned which is where again I had my sell order at the open of the supply stop loss again was just below the previous wick high before the order block so this wick here the blue line and I marked the stop loss just above that at 12.5 pips and this trade was a 1 to 3.81 again the take profit was 
the sell side liquidity or the most recent sell side liquidity which is this wick here which was the mitigation of this order block and as you can see price drops down price clears all of this liquidity out here and drops down to target and claims that sell side liquidity as I mentioned I don't think I think I failed to mention in the beginning we had the change of character off of this trade and this created the because we obviously had our break structure change of character here and this created an order block here after this bullish small bullish rally within the larger rally and this was my 15 minute demand point of interest so price tapped into this which I noticed so it dropped into my POI from the beginning and this is where I was looking to take buy positions as all of the sell side liquidity from this overall bullish rally has been claimed at this point so we've left a lot of buy side liquidity above and the OB is now being mitigated and my long gets tagged in stop loss was again set just below the order block and I added in a little bit of extra room for spreads and for wicking so as you can see we've wicked here into the order block sometimes you will see like with this trade price will wick up or shoot up into the um, supply or demand and sort of fill it and that's what I was trying to avoid here in case price shot down to claim more liquidity and fill the order block but we didn't get too much of that minimal drawdown and we entered price had a lovely rejection came up formed a high here and we then had some small consolidation a bearish move before a bullish rally that again this created an order block within this trade so this could be a compound entry we had a break structure new high price retraced our entry was at the open of the supply um demand sorry here and target still the same the buy side liquidity from the new york london crossover that's our target and minimal drawdown again price came up forming more trend line liquidity here consolidation still holding this high low price hasn't broken it so we're still bullish so obviously if price did break this level at this point we would then be looking bearish because we've broken the higher low but we haven't so then we come up we break still breaking structure because we broke this high here come back down again we have a bullish um we have a bearish candle within the trade still within this trade and this trade remember we then break structure to the upside here and this forms another valid demand zone for us to enter another trade off of because we're still bullish price then shoots up after breaking the structure taps us for TP on the initial position as well as the first compound entry the buy side liquidity is claimed we then drop back down and price taps into our third compound order block here after this break structure this order block we then have our entry again just here at the open of the demand zone price wicks down to mitigate the 50% of the order block and shoots off and TP was set again for this trade at the buy side liquidity here so a little bit higher than our previous um, TPs because this is the top of that rally which tapped us out for TP before dropping down and breaking the structure to the downside here so we target that buy side liquidity there and as you can see price 
shoots off and we could have had a lot more out of this trade but that trade was a 1 to 3.66 this trade was a 1 to 3.18 and this trade was a 1 to 3.79 so overall a lot of nice positions taken here and hopefully it makes sense to you what I see within this area of price action and I'm looking forward to making more case studies on gold and EU and any other pairs I mean if you have a pair you want me to do a case study on um, just drop it in the comments but yeah I've enjoyed making this one and hopefully it makes sense a bit more clear than the last one I think I've tried to include a bit less structural points and a few more trades and add a bit more understanding in but yeah I've enjoyed making this video and I hope you get some value out of it and understand what I'm seeing so yeah have a good one and don't forget to like and subscribe.